would also play this cruise ship called Que Amo. So I would see John Byrne a lot. And years ago, I met his manager, Albanetta, who's now deceased too. And Albanetta started Oh Boy Records. And every time I would play Nashville, Albanetta would go, man, you gotta meet John Prine. He would really love you. I'm gonna hook up a lunch someday. So every time he called, I was thinking, he's gonna hook up the lunch. Something's gonna happen, but it didn't ever happen. And then I was in San Diego one day and I got out of the water after surfing at Little Point. You know where Little Point is? It's just north of Windensea and it's a left. It's a really good left because it's a reef, so it's pretty cool. So I paddled out there one day, it was a perfectly sunny day. And I got out of the water and then I went back home to my little beach apartment. I had a Volkswagen van. When I went upstairs, the phone was ringing. So I answered and I go, hello? He goes, Steve, it's Albanetta. And I knew John Prine was in town at Spreckles Theater and it was a sold out show. So I was like, oh my God, he's gonna offer me tickets to see John Prine, this is gonna be so cool. And then he goes, listen, John's in town. I go, I know, I know, it's sold out. And then there was this awkward pause. He goes, do you think you could pick him up and take him to the Disney store? He needs to buy some toys for his kids at the Disney store. And I'm like, in my mind, I'm like, this is cooler than being given tickets, right? And I go, play it cool. Play it cool, don't tell them you're a songwriter, just... It was like um, John Travolta in Pulp Fiction, when when he's gonna be, he's with um, Uma Thurman, and he goes, you're just gonna go, have one drink with her, say goodnight, go home, and jack off, that's it. And so, I was like trying to play it cool, and I go, don't tell him you write songs, don't do anything, you're gonna pick John Prine up, you're gonna take him to the Disney store, go home, not jack off, because it's John Prine, but obviously. So, so I go, where's he staying? And he goes, the the uh, the uh, Horton Grand Hotel. And so in my mind, I'm like, well, the Disney store's in Horton Plaza, right? But I'm not gonna tell him that. This is pre-MapQuest, pre-Friendster, pre-MySpace. So they don't know where it is. So I drive down to pick up John Prine. And I have my van. I don't even take the longboards out of the van. There's Roberto's uh, sexual taco wrappers on the ground and there's a John Prine record like the missing years or something and it's cracked And so John Prine comes out of the hotel and I'm thinking how can I do this? I can't just drive across the street So I'll drive on the freeway or something <laughs> take me somewhere and then he gets in the van and he goes, in the van and he goes, I love what you've done with the place and then, <laughs> So he gets in sees his own CD Kicks it out of the way. So then I get on, I figure I'll get on 5 South and just drive a little ways. Well, I'm so excited to have him on my car. I just keep driving and all of a sudden there's a sign that says, um, Mexico, five miles. And then he goes, is the Disney store in Mexico? And I go, no, we're almost there though. And I go, shit, I gotta get on 5 North. Maybe he won't notice we're on 5 South. Like he has no sense of direction. So then I get on 5 North and John Pine goes, weren't we just on 5 South? So by now it's starting to become a Stephen King novel, Misery. And I'm gonna be taking him to my house and chain him to my bed and hobble him and make him write me songs about me. So he's looking kind of scared. So when I go in the back entrance of Horton Plaza, park my van, I lead John Prine into the Disney store and then he's walking around looking at toys and he goes, I gotta call my wife Fiona because I don't know if I already bought him these toys and they never forget and I can never remember. So he gets on the phone and he's talking to Fiona and then he looks across the street and he sees the sign that says Horton Grand Hotel. And then he looks at me. And then he looks at the hotel. Then he looks at me and he goes, isn't that my hotel? And then I go, they must have moved it. So he gets the gifts and he goes, should I just walk across the street or are you going to drive me back to Mexico? I go back to his hotel. I go, I'll drive you across the street. So he gets in the van with trepidation, mind you. I drop him back at his hotel and he goes, Are you coming to the show tonight? And I go, No, I don't have tickets. It's sold out. And he goes, Now you do. He writes down my name and then I showed up. I'm thinking I had a back row or something. Front and center, two seats. And I walked out and John Prime walks out on stage and he looks at me and goes. <laughs> I have his neck like that and he goes. And winked at me. So I just want to say God bless John Prime. What a beautiful national treasure he was.
happiness I guess I wish you all the best I wish you don't do like I do I never fall in love with someone like you Cause if you fell like I did You'd probably walk around the block like a little kid but Kids don't know They can only guess How hard it is To wish you happiness They say that love like a Christmas card Decorate a tree You throw it in the yard It decays and dies And the snowmen melt I once knew love I knew how love felt Yeah, I knew love love knew me and when I walk love walk with me and I got no hate and I got no pride yeah I got so much love that I cannot hide Say you drive a Chevy Say you drive a Ford You say you drive around the town Till you just get bored Then you change your mind For something else to do Then your heart gets bored with your mind And it changes you it's a doggone shame It's an awful mess I wish you love I wish you happiness I guess I wish You all the best